today. I just wanted to show kind of what I do as far as getting ready to make sure my bow's dialed in for hunting. Um, I've been shooting these pro comps and for this bow, Hoyt made me 90 pound bows, but I told him I was gonna shoot 540 grain arrows um, just so everything works like I, I want it designed to work. So for 540 grain arrows at 90 pounds, these arrows are a little lighter, the pro comps, they're about 470. So I backed off the bow a couple turns, which is why I'm not shooting 90 on this with these arrows. With my FMJs at 540, I'm shooting 90 pounds. But giving these pro comps a go, you know, they shoot very accurate. I can't believe how money they are. Um, I just shot one at 69 yards at that bear. I'll shoot another one and uh, just fly so perfect. So let's go look at these arrows. My thought is, yes, I want a heavy arrow and I want an accurate arrow. So I'm sold on the FMJs. They've killed so much stuff for me. And that 90 pounds of 540 grains, they, they hit so hard. But these pro comps, I am very accurate with them. So I'm wait, trying to decide weighing between a hard hitting arrow that is accurate or a little lighter arrow at maybe 82 pounds, which is maybe a touch more accurate. Um, so, I mean, these are my two at 69. Uh, first two shots of the day on a windy day. Um, you know, I'll get out here and stretch it out now and we'll do a couple more shots, but uh, just want to try to explain a little bit my thoughts on arrow and bow weight and arrow weight and what I'm looking for. So with these, I've been shooting, as you know, all last year I shot uh, those Grim Reaper four blade, the Carna four. Killed a bunch of animals, killed a bear with them this year, this setup right here. And uh, couldn't be more impressed, but I still haven't decided whether I'm gonna go all in on the lighter arrows with the Grim Reaper or go with that heavier FMJ at 90 pounds. It's uh. It's a great thing about archery is there's many ways to skin a cat. The key is what do you have confidence in? So let's stretch it out and shoot a little further now. three inches to the right. We're at 125 right here. Wind is tough to gauge or to hold, but uh, I think I got a good mark now. I like shooting at long distance just to see, you gotta do everything right. <laughs> I mean, every error is magnified. Felt good. Uh -uh. Right above the orange. Wind is dying down now. Should be good. Perfect. Do one more. Uh -uh. 
it's not in the orange but it's right to the left of it we'll go take a look at these four after this Okay. I know where the last one went, but it felt pretty good. This wind is a test. But Bow hunting is a test. We don't do it because it's easy. So, I mean, this was my last one. Thought it was better than that, but 125. <laughs> I've shot better, but in the wind today, it's, uh, it's a little difficult. Still fun just to get out and shoot. See if we can't better that real quick. Just got to keep hammering. <clears throat> This is Joe Rogan's new bow. <laughs> live. And uh, first time shooting it outside. Just got it set up at the bow rack and I'm gonna take it down to him. So I wanna see if um, it's accurate at that bear right there's 47 yards. So I picked, just kind of made a, a guess on the sight tape pick number 19 in the spot hog book for that fast steady sight right there 47 yards first time shooting joe's bow outside perfect height a couple inches right but definitely a dead bear so we got the yardage I think the yardage is about right let's shoot that lion sixty yards and Joe shoots a different release than I do so I'm not really worried about the the left to right also he probably anchors a little different than I do so all I'm trying to do is make sure that the sight tape is right on for this air. Well, <laughs> also these are my arrows, so <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully his are about the same weight. 60 yards on the mountain lion. We need the wind to lay down, please. That's opposite of laying down. God. Show those trees. Here we go. Whew. Freaking smoke that thing. 60 yards, money on the lion. So I guess, or I'm, in, I'm gonna say that this sight tape is perfect. We'll get, take this down to Texas and make sure Joe's dialed in with it. And uh, I think he's gonna love this bow. It is a sweet shooting rig. The Ventum 34 long axle to axle origin camo keep hammering limbs i think this is 80 maybe 82 pounds 
but uh, shooting lights out. Keep hammering. All right, last arrow of the day with Joe's new bow. 69 yards on that bedded white tail. First two shots were money on the bear and, and lion. We'll go check them out, but this 69, I'm gonna shoot right to the right of that. The antlers casting a shadow on the body, right to the right of that. Should be kill. Okay, let's go check them out. I think Joe's gonna love this bow. Dead in the hand. Sounded quiet to me. Arrows flying straight. I picked the right sight tape apparently. Here's, this was I think 41, that's a dead bear. This was 60, it's a dead lion. This was 69, I was actually aiming right there. So I'm uh, about an inch low, but obviously still a dead white tail. So these are my arrows. We'll see how Joe's arrows fly, but the bow seems to be dialed in. And more importantly, I picked the right sight tape. So we'll deliver this to Joe Rogan in Austin, Texas here in a couple days. See what he thinks. Keep hammering. Mm -hmm.